welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so you know when I upload. I try to upload three to four times a week. So today, while I was trying to think of new things to film with, I was going through my new beauty drawer, which is just a drawer and my makeup desk of products that I have not tried out yet that I want to try out on camera for you guys. And I seen that I still had this beautiful palette from Alomar Cosmetics. If you guys didn't know, the creator of Alomar Cosmetics works with BoxyCharm. She does a lot of their social media. Her name is Gabby. And I have followed her a lot on Instagram and just through BoxyCharm super excited when she was launching this but also so excited that they included this in BoxyCharm. I believe it was either May or June's BoxyCharm but I've had it since then and I haven't tried it because I wanted to throw it in a video for you guys so that is what I'm doing today. I have pretty much all my base makeup on. Everything will be down below in the makeup worn section in my description box. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys up so that I can show you guys the shades and we can start this eye look. Please don't mind my messy bun today. I was not in the mood to do my hair. Alright, so this is the palette. It does have a little slip sheet in it that I am taking out now, but this is what the front looks like. It looks like a little book, and I absolutely love that. Not to mention on the side, at the top it says volume 1, but this is volume 1, so... She is going to be coming out with another volume. I don't know how many, but I do like the idea that they look like little books. It's really cute. From what I've seen from social media and stuff like that is that she is Cuban and Alamar is actually a town in Cuba and that's where she was born. So I do think that is really cool to put that concept into her makeup brand. I love the detailed work with her logo and all of that as well. I just think the whole thing is really, really cute. But on the back of the palette, it does say that this is inspired by the beauty and rich culture of Cuba, the birthplace of Alamar. Featuring eight intensely pigmented shades ranging from delicate shimmers, high shine metallics, and velvety mattes. So yeah, I'm excited to jump into this palette. When you open it, it does just look like a little book. It opens from the side. Then you have the shades. There is no mirror with this palette, but this is her like debut product. So it would be cool if she eventually does add a mirror to the side, but I do love the little greenery and flower details that is going on on this palette as well. So here is the shades. I will butcher all of these names, so I probably will not be... saying all the shades for you guys because I don't want to embarrass myself even more. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start this look with taking Coco Taxi and my crease, this orange color right there. I think it'll be a really pretty transition shade and I'm going to take that on a Morphe R35, just like a crease blender brush. So I'm not seeing like any kickback. It does look pretty pigmented. So I really built this orange shade up, blending it out as best as I can so that there's no harsh edges, but I did blend it almost all the way up to my brow bone, or pretty much up to my brow bone, just not to the actual eyebrow, because I do want to highlight my brow bone. But this is just the transition shade, so we are going to be throwing another shade into the crease. So I kind of want that orange to peek through at the top of it, and let's just not mind the zit that is still there. If she sticks around much longer, I'm going to have to name her. All right, with the same brush, that crease blender brush, I'm gonna go into Tropico, which is like a reddish orange shade. I'm gonna try to just blend this in my crease a little bit. Not really, okay, this one had a little bit of kickback. If you guys can see that, that shade right there. Super pigmented, but definitely kickback. Not too bad though. I'm gonna try to keep the shade more in my outer crease and then just kind of blend it into the inner crease a little bit more to where it's a little bit light handed, but I'm not gonna take it as far up as I did the Coco Taxi shade. That shade is definitely super pigmented. I am gonna go back into Coco Taxi, the orange shade on the same brush, just to kind of clean up the edges at the top, add a little bit of that orange back into the look. Now I'm going to take La Costa, which is a metallic shimmer shade. I think this is going to be, yeah, I think that shade's going to be like perfect for my brow bone and inner corner. 
is just a very pale highlight shade that is so pretty and so like creamy. I'm going to take that on a Morphe R42 brush and just highlight my brow bone and very inner corner. I hope that shade picked up on camera good because that was so creamy, just like a buttery metallic, really good. I'm going to clean up at the very top with the Coco Taxi orange shade again, just up here where we highlighted. All right, next I'm going to take the like dark blue shade in this, which is also like, I think like a shimmer metallic Veradero. I think I'm going to do a halo. I haven't done like a full on halo look for a little while that I can think of. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to take my Morphe M166, which is a like oval rounded lid brush with that blue. I'm just going to kind of work this on the outer part. I'm getting a little bit, but I may have to go in with my finger. I'm actually getting quite a bit of color payoff using a brush, which is not common for me anyways, when I'm using like more metallic and shimmer shades, usually I have to go in with my finger or I just don't get a good color payoff. I had the littlest amount of fallout with that blue shade as well. So I'm super impressed so far with the formula of those and like the pigmentation, like how it went on. I did try to keep it as clean as possible, but I did have to take it into my crease a little bit. I have hooded eyes, so that's kind of what I'm working with. I did try to blend around like those edges just a little bit to where it blends out into the orange shade, but I'm not going like too intense with this shade any further up from my lid. Okay, from there with my finger, I'm gonna do the halo effect and I'm going to be using the shade El Malcon. El Malcon. This beautiful shade right here. So pretty one swatch, guys. Super pigmented and creamy. All right, so I'm gonna take that on my finger and kind of do my halo effect with it. Top of the blue, it de definitely is more of like a greenish shade. I really like it. I am going to go back into the deep blue shade on that brush again and kind of put a little bit more pigment on both sides of the eye and also in the crease where those shades meet. Then I'm going to take my Luxie 207 medium angled shadow brush. I'm going to go into the orange Coco Taxi shade first and just kind of blend that along my lower lash line just a little bit. And then I also think I'm going to warm it up a little bit with the Tropico shade too, the orangey red shade. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, throw some mascara, some falsies, that kind of thing on, and then I will be back. And here we have the final look. I went ahead and curled my lashes and threw on some Maybelline Last Sensational mascara. I was going to throw falsies on tonight, but I've actually been using a lash serum on my lashes, and I'm actually getting pretty good results with it, so I kind of just want to embrace my natural lashes for this look, and... I like it. I think it looks really cute with the faux freckles and the peachy lip. I am wearing the shade Peachy from the I Love Sarah E and Dosa Colors collaboration. If you guys haven't seen my video on that yet, it'll be linked right up here, so go check that out. I also set my face with my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This is so good at setting your makeup and making you look so dewy and luminous. And that is it for this look. So let's talk about this palette. It is so gorgeous. The pigmentation on like the mattes alone is so good. It also is very buildable. So I felt like with the Coco Taxi shade, the orange shade, I did have to kind of build that shade up a little bit, but it was very easy to do. So it built right up was really good. They're definitely very blendable as well. Even the sh like the shimmer metallics, they're so blendable and easy to work with while being super buttery and creamy. So I think overall the whole look pulled together really well. I think the shades work together really well and I just love this so much. I wish that I would have tried out this palette 
back when I got it, but there was just so much going on and I had so many other things lined up for my channel, but so far this is great. I will be doing a palette review on my blog. My blog is always linked down below in the description box and yeah, I'll keep trying this out and I will make sure I throw in a blog for you guys, but let me know what you guys think. Are you guys loving this palette? I cannot wait to see what volume two will look like. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.